I'm looking to take some shorts here. I want to see price run up a little bit higher around 1.0234. And then I'm going to take a short position with a five pip stop loss. Let's see if we can hit TP. I'm just waiting here to close it. And there we go. TP is hit. And that is 2700 for the day. I'll get the screenshot now and I'll post it. And this was overall a clean trade. What's good, everyone? I'm going to be doing um, a live trading session here. It's New York session right now. It's 8.23 a.m. I'm just going to basically uh, be doing what I normally do within my trading routine, and I'll record it for you guys. Um, so, yeah, we're right here on EU right now. I'm looking to take some shorts here. I want to see price run up a little bit higher, around 1.0234. And then I'm going to take a short position with a 5 pip stop loss. It's going to be a little bit over 5 pips with the spread. So I'm going to need price to come a little bit higher. You see that right now we're kind of pushing up a little bit. Um, reacting from this little candle right here. All right, You guys can see that we're reacting from this wick. So you see that the current place we're reacting from is actually a sell to buy candle so this wick here which brought us down is now running up into this high but when we look to the left of this high you see that this is reacting from a buy to sell if that makes sense so we're caught within two ranges right now so what we have is a fight of buyers and sellers and I'm not necessarily gonna call it a fight but it's more of just the idea that we have of course bearish order flow because we have this range before an aggressive drop meaning this is the edge and then we also have the bullish right in this origin before the push meaning this is the edge so the question is now will buyers take control and bring price higher from here or will sellers take control and bring price lower now we're caught between two ranges so I actually want to see price sweep this high right here come up to the edge and then drop off so we'll have that creation of the footprint here we have the push outwards and then we have the story behind the range which is this high right here so this high will be liquidity for this run into the edge so that's kind of what I'm expecting right now I'm looking to take these shorts the reason I'm looking to take them is because I started the week with a um, somewhat of a bearish bias I got on the charge yesterday um, Monday and I wanted to take shorts but nothing really lined up you guys can see it was looking a little choppy we finally pushed up to the area that I wanted price to go and then we started reacting off of it now at this point we've been moving down now I'm gonna be looking to follow that narrative because there's really nothing on the higher time frame which has told me to want to go ahead and buy. You know, if I still see the alignment as a whole looking bearish and setting up in um, a bearish nature, then I'm just going to be looking for this lower time frame to align. Now, granted, this is not going to be the most um, cleanest risk to reward reversal trade. This is more of just a very simple order flow following trade so hopefully we don't have to sit to through too much consolidation um like i said it's, it's almost 8 30 right now so i have about 30 minutes left within my session but i'm hoping for price to do something really simple and that's just run up above this high pretty aggressively and then drop off now it doesn't have to come all the way down here if it doesn't want to we come back down to around this area and I'll uh, I'll secure some profits just like that now let's go ahead and say that we remain bullish if we remain bullish through my stop loss well what's next right let me go to the 15 minute you guys can see we have this exchange of order flow right here so if the timing is right let's go ahead and say that we set up some consolidation and we start trending all the way into tomorrow and then tomorrow at New York open we run this high that'll be enough uh, enough validity 
to me taking a risk position right here with like a three pip stop loss no confirmation needed and then look the target down back to the low and that would be like my 1 to 13 because we would have the origin created we'd have the range we would have the bottom of the range we have the internal liquidity into a sweep of internal liquidity and then boom a drop so this is the type of um a setups i like to catch but that's just going to be based on the story that price offers if i don't get any type of story telling me to do that then of course i won't do that it's all about not predicting or anticipating this to happen but more of being able to read the market um through like a neutral standpoint and react in a in a strategic way you know you don't want to fall for anything in this game you want to know exactly what you're looking for you got to know how to play it strategically if not the market will have you changing your mind every 10 minutes you, you gotta you gotta know how to how to maneuver through this and think in a very strategic way so we have price pushing up a little bit right now i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this and we'll see what things are looking like in a few minutes i have a limit order set right now so i'm gonna fast forward this we'll see if price wants to push up if it comes up just a little bit i want you guys to keep in mind if it comes up a little bit it's possible that this edge gives us a little reaction hopefully this reaction stacks those highs it becomes liquidity we come up and then we drop off so that's kind of my anticipation but let's go ahead and see man let's see if we push up to here i'm gonna have my limit order ready we're gonna go for a one to five we're gonna go for a solid pay and trade and i'm willing to accept the risk of this setup because it looks good it follows my narrative i'm looking to follow this bearish order flow i know that this is a location i can win from I will catch you guys in a second. I'm going to fast forward it and hopefully it will run up to this and we'll get tagged in. Okay, so as you can see, we we're just tagged in. Um, we're already seeing a little bit of reaction, which is good. At this point, I want to go ahead and see price come down the range a little bit. So you can see we had this uh, this little sell to buy movement that we mitigated out of. You see how we had this low, we came out pretty aggressively. I want to go ahead and see price fill this range a little bit. Maybe come back down into this area right here. And then at this point, I will most likely manage my position and take a little bit of profits. But right now, price is kind of chopping around a little bit, kind of having this little sideways range. I would like to see price come down right now, although I wouldn't be surprised if it came up as well. I'm pretty much fine with um, either outcome. I'm, I'm fine with either one. We're currently seeing pretty good reaction. So we'll go ahead and see if price wants to continue down lower, come to the edge of this range. If it comes to the edge, then I'm going to go ahead and secure some partials. So we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're very close to the area where I'm going to be taking partials. We are reacting a little bit, but I want to keep in mind why I'm seeing this reaction and why I'm seeing some resistance from this area. So you see we have this wick down into this here. So this is that sell and the buy. So like I was saying earlier, I was kind of expecting a little bit of a reaction from this point. So I'm currently running around 1400 in profit. But I want to see price come to the orange line and I'm going to secure about a third of this, right? So I have 15 lots running here on EU. What I'm going to do is secure five lots if we go ahead and we push down to the orange line. Now, my position is already mitigated, so I have no risk on the table at this point. I have my stop loss to break even and I'm going to note that now on the chart actually I'm gonna note that now just gonna put stop loss at entry so stop loss is at entry 
so I have no risk on the table at this point and as you can see we have very solid bearish order flow kind of overtaking these wicks which is very good so that's very good and there we go so I'm gonna close five lots right now and that'll be there we go so five lots closed and I'm gonna hold the rest of this position with stop loss at break even so I have 10 lots and 75 cents and that's just gonna run and I'm gonna set my take profit right here on my phone to let's get this exact price I'm gonna set it to 1.02107 and like I said stop loss is right here 02360 alright perfect so now I have no risk on the table and I've already secured some profits I'm gonna let this uh, speed up so you guys don't have to wait with me and we'll see what happens Alright guys, I'm back and you can see right now that we have a pretty solid bearish candle kind of overtaking all of this little consolidation. Definitely something I like to see. Um, when I'm taking these trades, man, we have the same characteristics happen almost, I'd say 80% of the time. Um, you'll, you'll definitely notice this like when you find the type of trading that suits you, when you actually monitor the markets you'll see that things happen in a very similar way uh, very often so we had price slow down at the buy to sell kinda had some interaction and now we are uh, we're sweeping down pretty heavy going very close to TP and we should hit it fairly soon so I'm running about two thousand in profit right now and I have uh, ten lots on the table and earlier I closed 480 so I'm gonna get the percentage and all that uh, for you guys in a second let's see if we can hit TP it's going down very nicely should not take too much longer very close to TP I'm just waiting here to close it and there we go TP is hit and that is 2700 for the day we get the screenshot now and I'll post it and this was overall a clean trade you know um, I had my bias I set my intentions beforehand I understood what I was looking for I knew exactly what I wanted to see and if price didn't show what I wanted to see, then I wouldn't have got involved. And it's as simple as that. You need to know exactly what you're looking for. So this was it for today. Um, this was my second day back to trading. Feels good to be back. Like I said, I was handling a lot of business aspects of things. But I'm kind of getting back into the groove of everything, man. And it's all muscle memory. It's all the same that it was when I took the break. And um, it's good to be back, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all learned something new. And I hope this kind of, you know, gave y'all some confidence to go out there, you know, maybe tomorrow morning and, you know, get get after it during New York session. So this is New York. Like I said, I got on the charts at like eight o'clock. It's 850 and I'm already done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been BG. I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Salute.